Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to CTC Upcycle Crafts. Today we are doing a video and we are going to be using an old scrap piece of wood again and we are going to be doing a graphics transfer. Um, first of all I am smoothing off the piece of wood just to make sure we've got a smooth even finish on the wood before we start our transfer. I'm going to do three ways today. First of all I am going to use some chalk paint. I absolutely love the white chalk paint and I love the way it looks on the wood. If you like an antique graphic kind of design, then I would definitely go with the white chalk paint. This is by far, adding a paint texture underneath the graphics is something I really love to do with all of my signs and the things that I love to make. So you're going to want to make sure that you do a nice thick even covering of the chalk paint. I'm just going to make sure that this fits the graphics that I'm using today. As I said previously, I'm just doing this as just to show you really. I will leave a link below um, to Amazon to where I bought all my products and what products I'm using today. Now the first thing I did in this video was I printed off my graphics with a laser jet printer. If you use an inkjet printer, you're not going to get a nice finish as you do using a laser jet printer and sometimes you can find that ink can run. Now the main thing you can see here in the video is that I have reversed the image. If you are using any lettering, any wording, anything like that, you are going to want to reverse your image. You can do this quite quickly and easily on quite a lot of computer apps. It's not tricky at all. Um, as a beginner, you can do it. It's just easy. You can flip that image round and make sure you print it. So that is one major key, is always remember to flip your images that you are using. Now, first of all, I am using the photo transfer here, which I wouldn't really highly recommend to use for graphics. Um, it leaves a white background. It's brilliant for photo transfers and it leaves a white background. So it's going to transfer the white from the paper as well to the wood, which I'm going to show you in this demonstration. As you can see, I'm being quite messy and I'm not using a mat like I normally would, as I'm just trying to show and demonstrate to you using the different glues what kind of effect you are going to get and obviously if you are transferring any sort of graphics to a piece of wood you aren't going to want that paper to transfer at the same time too now you can either use a card to smooth out any air bub bubbles or you can use your fingers either way you can do whichever ever way you find is easiest for you The key is to really smooth out and really ensure there's no creases, there's no air bubbles because if there's any creases or air bubbles between the glue, the paper and the board then you aren't going to get that smooth finish and you could end up with patchy, patchy wording, patchy graphics and it just won't transfer properly. Now on this next side I am going to use the Mod Podge mats, which I use quite a lot for my graphics transfers. This glue I absolutely love, I prefer the matte to the gloss finish, um, especially on antique designs. Now I'm going to show you how you can do it onto a piece of wood just using the glue, no background and how the wood will show through if you were to just transfer a simple graphic onto a piece of wood which you can do on coasters or anything like that or if you're just transferring a picture onto a piece of wood maybe and you want that wood grain to show through then this would be a perfect way to do that. And again here you're going to want to make sure that you are you have completely covered your graphic image and you've put a really nice thick layer of glue over the top of the graphics and that is to ensure that you've covered your graphics fully to ensure that it sticks to the piece of wood and you get a full coverage once the graphic has transferred to the wood. Now 
Now in this one I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm just going to completely smooth it out just to show you that you can do just as well using your fingers with a little bit of time and patience. If you don't have a card to hand to use or a scraper or anything like that, just gently working your way around the piece of paper and making sure it's all even, all the creases and air bubbles are out. Now with this third one again, I am going to use the Mod Podge mat because this is what I use mostly across the chalk paint when I am doing my designs and I know this works really well on top of the chalk paint. So again, you're going to want to make sure that you have fully covered your graphics with your Mod Podge mat. As you can see here, I'm being quite messy today because I am using an old piece of wood and the video is literally just to show you how you can do different textures on different things and which glue suits which projects best really. Like with any DIY project, it just takes a little bit of time and patience to get right. You can carefully peel back the graphics back up if you feel like you have a crease in it and flatten back out. That is absolutely fine too, as long as you're making sure the final product before you leave it to set is fully flat, no air bubbles and completely flat to the surface that you want to transfer the image to. Once you are happy, then you should leave overnight to dry or at least 24 hours, I would say, to dry. And then you are ready to begin the process of rubbing off to get your graphics onto the wood. Once you are ready to begin this process, I would take either a flannel or a sponge and get yourself some clean. I use a little bit of warm water. Um, and then you're just going to gently dampen the back of the paper and you'll start to see the images reveal through the paper as you begin to wet them. You're not want to go going to want to use a lot of water here at this point. The less water you use, the better, and you're gonna to want to go a bit at a time. Now as you can see, once the paper starts to soak up the water, your image will start to show through the paper and that's letting you know that you're putting the right amount of water on. Now as I said before, you don't want to completely soak this paper here. You just want to get it nice and light and wet and then you can begin the rubbing process. Okay, now as we begin the rubbing process, you will see that the paper is coming away and the image or the graphic that you have underneath will start to show through. 
you don't want to be rubbing too hard because if you rub too hard then that you could just rub the image or the graphic away from the wood and this will leave big patches so you just want to go nice and gentle and take your time and a lot of patience to do this if you find it starts to dry out a little bit in places then you can go ahead and you can re-wet them places and go back across again Now as you can see here I've moved on to the other side, I'm going to leave that side to dry out a little bit and as you can tell already it started to turn like a milky colour again and that with that milky colour that's just showing that it still has a layer over the top so if you just need to let that dry out a little bit more and then re-wet and then rub again it's better to do that than just to keep rubbing at this stage and rubbing the transfer completely away. Now I've re-wet them areas, I'm just going to go back over where I can see it is still slightly milky and where I can still see paper. If you're trying this out for yourself, leave a comment below and let us know how you got on and how the different things worked for you. As you can see it does take a little while and sometimes you may need to go back and do even more. I'm going to do the other two but I'm going to skip through and just fast forward through this bit so you don't have to watch the whole rubbing process over again. I did the last one in real time so you can see actually how long it does take. And there we have it, three completely different finishes. The one in the middle is the one on chalk paint. The one on this side is the one with the wood grain showing through and the one on the end is the one with image and this is why you shouldn't use this one because it has transferred the paper as well and I really don't like that look. Thanks for watching, this has been CTC Upcycle Crafts. 